Welcome D99 parents to our video Navigating PowerSchool Parent Guide. In this video, we will show you how to keep up to date on the academic progress of your child. Let's begin by showing you how to log into PowerSchool. So let's go to our website. Our website address is www.cicd99.edu. Once you get to our website, you will select Parents and then PowerSchool Login and click. Now we're in PowerSchool. If you already have an account, you can use your username and password. Your child has their own account. If you have not created an account, you can click Create Account, and there's a step-by-step -step video on our website that will show you how to create an account. You will also need a letter from your child's teacher with the access code and the password to your child's account so you can add them to your account. So once you have your account set up, let's log in. You'll use your username and then your password, and then click Sign In. We've arrived at PowerSchool. The first thing you will see are the grades and attendance page. So let's look at it from left. So here are the periods, and these will only apply to seventh and eighth graders, not to elementary students. Then followed by last week's attendance, this week's attendance, and then the listing of all of the teachers. You can also see that there is a room number, and then in blue, you can click to send the teacher an email, followed by the quarter we're in, and then absences, and then tardies. I also want to show you standards grades. Now, I want to remind you parents that this year the grading will be very different. We will no longer use letter grades. These will be number grades. So you will be seeing one, two, three, and four. The highest is a four. A four indicates that the student has mastered that standard. So here you have a choice of expanding all of the courses and you can see all of the standards with the grading. You can do each individually by clicking on the arrow button. You can open and close them, or you can close all of them at one time. Okay, so now I've showed you where grades and attendance are. So let me show you the rest of the menu. The first one is Swift Reach. If you are not receiving any emails or notifications or robocalls from our district, check the information on this tab. We'll continue with the navigation. As I mentioned, grades and attendance is the first one you will see. Let's look at the second one, which is grades history. Here you will see the history of all the grades previous for your child. Attendance history gives you a detailed year view of the attendance day by day, and then also by the courses or the classes. Let's go to email notifications. On this one, you'll be able to choose the frequency and the type of notifications you will receive. So this is letting you know which account email address it's going to. And then you can select the type of information you would like to receive. Just click. And then you can check. Uh, you can also add an additional email address. And then the frequency, you can select several options. Never, weekly, every two weeks, morning, and daily. Then you can also, there's a setting here to click to apply to all the students. So you won't have to do it individually. Okay, you've seen email notifications. Let's go to teacher comments. This section is important because... The teachers will send you messages here and also by the application reminds. So check here for any messages from the teacher. And then you're also able to automatically send them an email or any uh, response or any questions for the teacher. Next is student reports. Here you will click and you can open to see the report card. They'll be listed in this section. Let's continue with school bulletin. Any announcements, um, anything will be posted here. So it's important to read them. Class registration is not, does not apply to our district. Let's continue with the menu. We have my schedule. So here you can see an assessment schedule and here we have a matrix view. We're continuing on with school information. Here you will see the name, address, phone number of the school. We move on to account preferences. Here's your profile your name, your email address, uh, the language, we can check uh, English here. And then um, you can also use this tab, the tab students, and this is where you will add additional students. If you just registered a kindergartner, don't forget that you need the letter with the access ID and the code. You click add and you can see, you add the student name, access ID, the password, and then the relationship, and then you just click okay. And then your child is added and you'll be able to see them up here to the left. You'll be able to click and switch between your children. The other additional uh, spot I want to show you on this 
platform is I want to show you care docs. Now, if your child is going to the nurse, this is where you will see the frequency and all the health record of your child. So it takes a few minutes to load up, but you'll be able to select if you want to see the record or if you want to see the frequency of visits. So you'll have all the notes here from the nurse. And you can see it's loaded now. And then you can see the health profile or you can view recent visits. So you can choose and the document will open and give you all the details for your child, which is really cool. So this is an important thing that you might want to check on. So here you go. It gives you all the information here for the visits for your child. So it's been a quick overview of PowerSchool. I hope that this video has been helpful for you and it will help to check on the academic progress of your child, any notes, any messages, and you'll be able to keep up to date and then help us keep igniting the road to excellence. Thank you.